Well, hello guys, welcome back. So please forgive the bath here, but I had something happen. I have to share it with you. The recipe is over on Patreon. We made vegetarian rice on purpose. In fact, I was thinking of Lord Ganesh and I made sure it was vegetarian. And, you know, he likes milk and that, so you can put that in. I said vegetarian, not vegan. Anyhow, I make this rice, and Stolas had been kind of asking if I would make a vegetarian too, which I thought was unusual, but I'm like, okay. And he kept after me, very gently pestering me, would I please put something nice on? I ended up putting this guy that sings mantras and every and sutras and everything on. I'm like, okay. Um... The rice comes out, we let it sit for a bit. Lord Ganesh comes like he always does and goes to get into it like he always does because that's his long running joke. You should have seen the expression on his face when he not only realized it was vegetarian but it had been prepared for him so it was vegetarian on purpose. And he's looking at it and he's looking at me and I said we made it for you. <laughs> we just, you know, we hadn't called because Usually he's dependable. You cook rice, he shows up. I, I don't know why that happens in this house, but it does. And I, you know, I offered it to him and, you know, we're having it. And we're playing these mantras and sutras and everything. And every demon in the house just went bloomf. Like they were so super relaxed and they were so blissed out and they were all kind of looking at me. You know that look of infinite love they give you when you've done something that makes them happy? And they were liking the, the you know, the meditation, the chants, the sing, sung chants. And they were coming over and they were looking at it. And I'm trying to think of a way to tell them, you know, that it's, you know, like it wasn't a chant to Kanesh. It was like to the Buddha and stuff like that. They were all really content, and they were toddling over and looking at it and just kind of blissing out like every bone disappeared from their body. I've never seen demons, I haven't worked with them that long, but I've never seen demons have a reaction like that to anything. And I'm taking a bath after. And I'm not sure if it was Asmodeus or it might have been Mammon because their voice was so relaxed it was hard to tell. And he laughed and said, well, of course, you didn't offer them the blood or the meat of an animal. What did you think would happen? And I said, we eat vegetarian all the time. We do. A lot of our mills now are vegetarian. There's really not much meat left in the house. And that's not on purpose. That's Walmart's not shipping any meat. Um, we have, like, chicken powder. And that's more like the hope that a chicken walked through the powder of a soup base at some point. Um... But we really don't have much meat left. He goes, well, yeah, it's the intent. He said, when you put a Pop-Tart out or a breakfast cereal or oatmeal or something, you're not intentionally putting out something vegetarian. You're just putting out something without meat. He said, this was intentional. And you intentionally put out something that didn't involve, you know, a little animal getting cooked. <laughs> and, you know, he, he, he was laughing, but he said, of course, that's where they're so relaxed. And then they all get the big idea, can we have more vegetarian milks? I'm like, we eat vegetarian all the time, but it has to be the intent. So I have to remember when I put it out, go, oh, look, it's vegetarian. I didn't realize, no, um, depending on how strict you are, you know, like if you can't have anything that was like made in the same factory. But the jelly beans are vegetarian. I, I had heard that they had switched over stuff when they made jelly beans and marshmallows and everything, but... Yeah, so they're they're all blissed out and happy. It's not like we're going to become completely vegetarian because I said to Loki, I said, we do have some meat in the house. Like we have like chicken soup, like the powder chicken soup or something. They're okay with that. But they like more of these vegetarian meals. And I said, you're going to go a little, you know, a little crazy if I don't occasionally make you something. But... They're happy. Um, they know I'm not suited to go all vegetarian all the way, and I would certainly never go back to vegan because I went a little nuts on that. But I think from a health standpoint and from the standpoint of they showed um video yesterday of people are buying up. You know the same people that bought toilet paper? They're buying little peeps. They're buying little chicks. And their idea is to take these chicks and raise them for the eggs. I'm thinking that's an awful lot of work to go for for eggs, but you do you. And there's nothing more adorable on this planet than 
little chicks until you start working with them and you realize they peck each other to death and all these other fun things. But, you know, um, they had all seen the chicks, so I think they had residual guilt or something. So, you know, and the others don't care, because I went to Thor and I said, come on, you boys are like the most committed carnivore. Thor eats his own goats in the stories. He goes, yeah, but it won't be bad sometimes, sis. So I'm trying to work to a healthy balance of most of our meals are naturally vegetarian anyways. I don't like read labels like crazy or something, but... I said, we're eating mostly vegetarian anyways. We have one can of chicken left and maybe some, you know, cubes of chicken broth I saved from the cans. But I said, I'm willing to try it if you guys are sure, if you think it's a health thing. But, you know, I said, you're going to go, you know, a little nuts when it's, you know, because I said, it's not like we have a huge vegetable stall outside with fresh vegetables. I said, it's going to be a lot of soups and a lot of uh, rice. A lot more rice and a lot of beans and a lot of grains. I said, you do realize you said vegetarian, right? They seem fine, so we'll see. We'll see how long this lasts. I told Loki, I said, you realize chickens aren't a vegetarian food item. Chicken? Yeah, chickens. Chicken? And we're not allowed to go to the DQ anyway, so it's a moot point, but... It was kind of a thing they want to start. You don't have to be vegetarian or vegan to serve the gods, but you don't have to eat meat either. I can tell you they were all happy with a vegetarian meal tonight. So I just figured I would share that with you guys because um, demons are actually pretty big on ethics. <laughs> and you know, there is, you know, whether you eat meat or not, you're where people are starting to bring up ethical issues with the way um, animals are raised. And I'm not trying to start a fight. Um, I grew up in farming country, but animals raised here where they can run around in at least a little area is different than factory farming. And I'm not judging people if you're eating meat. I eat meat. I'm a committed carnivore. But, you know, demons are very ethical. And they know I can't afford to go to, like, Trader Joe's or something and look for a cow that they can show me a moving slideshow of how much fun this cow had all their life. You know, they took it to Disney World. <laughs> That's Odin's favorite joke. They took it to Disney World before the end. But they know I can't do that, so they know I don't know where the eggs are sourced from. They are, I think the eggs are local, so eggs are fine. They're fine with eggs and milk. But, you know, for meat, for chicken, stuff like that, since I don't know where it's coming from, I'm going to be having an ethical debate with the demons. I know I'll lose because they'll find one of the lawyers and they'll just have one of the lawyers talk me down and we'll end up being a vegetarian household. But with the fact that you can't order meat as of yet on Walmart, that's fine. I still have stuff on back order. A couple more items did ship, but... They're kind of trying to reach a compromise for me. They're not trying to guilt me out of eating meat, but they want more vegetarian meals in the diet. I don't know. That's today. Tomorrow they may change their mind. So, if you guys like what you see, like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you later. Bye-bye.